Welcome to the music room, you all. A home for artists, storytellers, and weirdos where we interview singers, songwriters, and people who have great stories to tell. We're glad you joined us. This is a way for me to meet people that I admire, people that I want to get to know, and also to share those people with you. So we appreciate you tuning in. My name is Matt Black. I'm your host. There are people who wait, watch, and wonder how to cross that river rolling by. They're sitting on the shore, they know there's something more, but that something's waiting on the other side. There are those who jump right in when they know it's sink or swim. It's all or nothing, do or die. Life's a roller coaster. Let's all take it for a ride. Lots of people may look across the ocean. Lots of people may look across the land. There are those who love the sky. There ain't no reason why. All these dreamers, they can't go hand in hand. If we fly or if we fall, the ride is worth it all. Well, what's the point of dreaming it all? Life's a roller coaster. Let's all take it for a ride. We go up, we go down, we go round and round and round and round. Throw your hands in the air, feel the wind blow through your hair. It gets out of control sometimes. There are those who risk it all, backs against the wall. A fire inside them burning strong They're like a quarterback who knows He can't run, he's got to throw To make it when it's third and long Oh, the pressure and the pain It's totally insane But it's worth it just to play the game Life's a roller coaster Let's all take it for a ride Life's a roller coaster. Let's all take it for a ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roller coaster. Being in the music business for almost, golly, 32 years, I started traveling in 1987, coming up on 33 years. That's a long time, y'all. I have been blessed to see a lot of wonderful things, do a lot of incredible things, and meet some of the most amazing people along the way. And I wanted a chance to get to share some of those experiences with people, and I also wanted a way to introduce some of these most wonderful people to the world and to help share the art that they make. See, singers, songwriters, artists, storytellers, weirdos, those are my people. <laughs> those are the people that I feel most at home around and, and the people that I love. And I've met so many wonderful people along the way, but I see so many people out there on YouTube, on 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 the web and, and, and on the internet. I just want to get to know these people. So this was a great forum for us to start to accomplish that. And I'm really excited about some of the guests we have coming on. We have some of the most amazing creative people. We're going to tell some really cool road stories along the way too. That's one thing I'm really excited about. It's going to happen on every episode. We're going to have our guests sitting right here, or if they play keyboard, if they play drums, they're going to be sitting over here in the room and we're just going to play some music. It's going to be original music, songs that we've written, they've written. We want to share that with the world. It's just going to be such a great time. I'm so excited to have this opportunity and to get to share it with you. So I want to thank you for tuning in. 
I started <clears throat> being on the road in 1987 with a group called the Continental Brass and Singers. I was actually working for my grandpa at the time, driving a tractor. I grew up on a farm, and that was kind of a way of life for me. I wouldn't trade that for anything. The work ethic, the experiences, and just the the, the being quiet and watching grass grow, you know, is it, it's contributed to me having time to think and, and I learned how to sing, really driving a tractor, going around and around the field, singing at the top of my lungs. Hopefully nobody heard, but maybe they did. I wrote lots of great songs on the tractor. And I was driving on the tractor, minding my own business, and I got a call from my, my uh, music minister at church, and he said, Matt, I want you to bring your trumpet to church tonight. And it was a Wednesday night. I didn't think much about it. So... I got to church and there was this group there called the Continental Brass and Singers and they'd been on tour for about three days out of California. They had a, a tour bus and an equipment truck and a band and a choir and all their own equipment and they still needed a trumpet player. So basically I'd been set up. So I ended up auditioning, leaving the next morning on the tour bus for about three and a half months. We toured all over the United States, did a concert every night except when we flew back and forth overseas. We flew into Amsterdam, we toured Holland, Belgium, Germany, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and then we flew back home, did concert. That really changed my life and kind of set me on this path I've been on for the last 30 years. Sometimes you, you think you're doing one thing and God has different plans. That was certainly the case with me. And through college, I started taking every opportunity I could to play music. I would play for youth groups, for pizza after, on Friday nights after the football game. I would play in churches. I played in clubs with a bunch of crappy country bands, paid my dues doing that. And it led into me <clears throat> kind of finding a niche as a, as a singer-songwriter playing gospel music, which is really my heartbeat when it comes down to it. For about 18 years, that's all I did. I traveled, sang did concerts, led worship in churches, all, all across the United States. Made six CDs along the way. Sold about 100,000 records back when people actually bought CDs. And it's led me to a point in time where I have such an appreciation for people who pour their heart into their craft, creating art, you know, when it comes down to it, God is the ultimate creator, and he gives us the opportunity, the ability to do this. And I just, it just amazes me when I see people who are creative, people who are gifted at something, who have applied their, their lives to, and dedicated their lives to their craft. And, and I want to showcase those kind of people. That's the kind of people I want to be around. That's really why we started this podcast being a singer-songwriter myself, I've kind of fallen into a time and place where I, I'm kind of tired of doing cover tunes. Nothing wrong with singing Brown Eyed Girl or sitting on the dock of the bay or YMCA or walking on sunshine. Nothing wrong with that. Those are great songs, and I love getting to sing great songs. But there comes a point in time where you want to do songs that you've written and share those with people. This is kind of a gateway for us to be able to do that and share that with you. And whether you have us come to your town and do a concert, come to your house and do a house concert or not, we're certainly glad that you tuned in. I want to, I want to tell you about this, this guitar behind me here. This is my dad's guitar that I inherited. It is a 1956 Gibson ES-175DN. The D stands for dual pickups, which are these dual P90 pickups. The, the N stands for natural finish, which is the blonde finish there. It's just a sexy guitar, don't you think? And this guitar has been a fixture in my life from the time I was born. My dad bought it brand new in 1957, so he already had it for 10 years by the time I came along. And when my dad passed away in 2016... I inherited this guitar and for the first year or so it's kind of like the guitar and I just stared at each other thinking what now what do we do now but I started playing it I play it every morning and it's opened up a whole new world to me it's kind of a different color to paint with and 
I'm gonna play a song for you that I wrote because of this guitar. I wanted to write a song for my dad, but I didn't want it to be just another boy sings a song for his dad. So I took a little different tack on this song and it came out something like this. I wanna give you a cliffhanger here. I would play it on this guitar, but the back pickup is messed up. So I've gotta get it fixed. So I'm gonna leave you hanging. If you wanna hear what this guitar sounds like, you're gonna to have to come back for another episode sometime in the near future. I came into this world A song in my soul And deep down I always knew That someone could hear What I had to say It was someone Just like you I remember the day I was hanging around And you picked me out of the crowd Your hand brushed my neck And we became instant friends And we started dreaming out loud How we played for the people We played for the love we sang through the joy and the pain Whatever life changes and time rearranges No matter how near or how far Others may take me, others may play me But I'll always be your guitar Pour out your heart to my old wooden soul And I made you feel understood How we lived every day We took every stage Doing the best that we could and Every scratch on my back Every wrinkle and crack I wear them like old souvenirs With my rusty old strings And these grooves in my neck Worn in with good times and tears And I never wanted our song to end And it was too good To be true But guitars outlive The ones we love Now what's An old guitar to do and Play for the people for the love Sing through the joy And the pain Whatever life changes And time rearranges No matter how near Or how far Others may play me Others may take me But I'll always Thank you all so much for tuning in today and finding us out here in the wild west of the internet. We hope you come back to the music room real soon. You'll get to hear what this guitar sounds like. You'll get to hear some amazing guests. Would you do me a huge favor right now? 
See that little subscribe button down to the right of the video? Would you click that and subscribe right now? And would you tell your friends, pass this on if you like it, let's let the world know. Have a great day, folks. We'll see you again real soon on The Music Room.